Friends, a blessed day to you all. Welcome to our daily reflection from the Archdiocese of Port of Spain in the Caribbean. We invite you to join us now as we bring this transformative power of God's word into our own reality at this time. Come, Spirit of Truth. Come, Holy Spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John 17, 11 to 19. Jesus raised his eyes to heaven and said, Holy Father, keep those you have given me true to your name, so that they may be one like us. While I was with them, I kept those you had given me true to your name. I have watched over them, and not one is lost, except the one who chose to be lost. And this was to fulfill the scriptures. But now I am coming to you, and while still in the world, I say these things to share my joy with them to the, wo- to the full. I passed your word on to them, and the world hated them, because they belong to the world no more than I belong to the world. I am not asking you to remove them from the world, but to protect them from the evil one. They do not belong to the world any more than I belong to the world. Consecrate them in in the truth. Your word is truth. As you sent me into the world, I have sent them into the world. And for their sake, I consecrate myself so that they too may be consecrated in truth. Concern for others. Holy Father, keep those you have given me true to your name. How would we react if we realized that in a few hours, our lives were going to end tragically at the hands of good people, or that we were betrayed by someone close to us? In such scenarios, we meet a calm and self-confident Jesus who was more worried about his disciples than about his impending faith. Jesus was concerned that those persons who traveled with him for three years would not be destroyed by the evil one when he was gone, that they would not forget his teachings, but be able to carry on the work he started. He knew they would be faced with difficult times ahead, and so he put his concerns in the hands of his father. Dear Father, help us to be more like Jesus. When faced with trials and betrayals, Enable us to show concern for others, to be calm and trusting, knowing you will answer all our prayers. Amen. We bow our heads. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, it's now and ever shall be, a world without end. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. May he come long upon you, remain with you, preserve you from that evil one, and grant you everlasting life. And the people of God say, Amen. Do have a blessed and pleasant day.